okay so i can speak in a lower volume so yesterday the spring started officially and this is my spring outfit again i have to emphasize that they're all old clothes and i have them in jakarta but they're all italians so anyway this is what i put on but let me show you the whole outfit okay if you walk like this in milan here they don't know how to appreciate but if you walk like this when of course the weather is already a little bit warmer from Italy yeah, speaking of spring today is just about style so this is the combination of the colors and the silhouette the shape of the outfit you are wearing if you would like to know more in depth of course you sign up to my online course uh, by Udemy that it's called the unspoken rules of style which is very Milanese it's from Milan so when you go to Rome maybe they don't understand or they don't follow they don't adhere to those rules but these are very Milanese so very very safe you will never feel out of place whenever you apply them uh, because it's very understated. Understated meaning that it's not going to, um, you know, take people's attention in the in the in the in the um, threatening way, which I've already mentioned several times. So here's my second floor in my lounge but it's going to rain soon so it's all closed actually i would like to have a proper roof or awning over it so that we don't have to close with the bamboo uh, blinders so anyway um, i would like to do so many things in this villa <laughs> to tell you frankly so um it would be nice if i could first of all repair the gazebo and make it larger so that I could make it like a coffee shop where guests can order food and eat there and have their meal there. That's a, an idea of mine. And then of course I need to repair the, the roof. I've already mentioned, not the roof totally, but just this one part. And then I would like to also um, create a spa in my pool house. So anyway, so that's uh, not the subject of my vlog today. My vlog today is the fashion, not the fashion, but the style in Milan. So uh, these are some of the rules that you can combine this one with brown or beige. Not black, not blue. You can combine with blue as long as there's black and beige in it. And that's very typical of spring or autumn clothes color combinations. So you see, I give you already some hints. And uh, I bought this in the market in Milan. I bought this in, yes, this one is expensive in, um, yeah, in a uh, uh, quite exclusive area, also by the higher class of Milanese, which is in Corso Vercelli in Milan. Tourists don't go there because it's not a tourist place. It's more like the, the, the higher class uh, Italians live in that area. Uh, so uh, that's it. So the moccasin, I bought them also in the market in Milan. Because, you know, I don't need to show off, you know, anybody, anything, especially in Jakarta now. In Milan, you can wear this and then you're appreciated because they can already read the fact that you understand their rules, unspoken rules, that is. 
So they are not going to um, uh, look at you and say, oh my God, that is a cheap thing she's wearing. They evaluate you based on your knowledge of what material to wear, what cut to wear, what color combinations you put together, uh, what hairstyle, what makeup, what bag, you know? So these are the keys and the codes that they understand. And if you just did that in Milan, then they, they know you're one of them. And they accept that, you know? They, they are more uh, welcoming, uh, uh, to you, not because they would consider you as tourists, because they know the difference between tourists and those who live in Milan. And those who are tourists, yes, they're forgiven, you know, it's okay. But still, you know, they were there, their, their comments would always go like, oh my God, look at the way she's wearing, she wears like a clown. Or, oh my God, you know, what does she think, uh, you know? Uh, she has put on, you know? So those are the kind of judgments that they always uh, uh, say among each other. Look at me again. Oh my God, that is the only thing that I can't stand in Jakarta is the humidity. I am not accustomed to it. Oh my God, it's already over one year I'm here and I'm still very, very, you know? I always perspire. As long as I keep quiet, that's okay. But the moment I talk or the moment I, the moment I move, then I perspire. Otherwise, I'm okay. And then, okay, so it's not windy. It's very quiet, so you don't need. But in Milan, when it's windy, put this, put this like this. It's that kind of language they have, you know? When it's rather windy, then put up your your color. You see, that's why I love Milan, because every little thing they do there has function, has function. They don't do this because of style. They do this because there's wind, there is breeze a little bit that would, you know, hit your neck because since you don't wear uh, a scarf anymore, maybe it's already, uh, you know, late May, early June, then you wear this. Or maybe once in a while the nice uh, temperature comes even though the spring maybe just started and you don't need to wear a coat or a jacket or a scarf, then you, uh, if it's breezy, put up that collar, put up that collar. It's not a matter of you uh, trying to be Elvis. That's not the, the interpretation by them. For them, it's functional. It's to protect you from that breeze because you know, in Italy, the Italians, they're very obsessed with you uh, catching a cold which is very Indonesian as well, okay? Very Indonesian, but uh, every little thing, they're afraid to catch a cold. So that's why you see a lot of uh, Italians wearing scarf, just like me. I, I'm, I'm by now accustomed to it. Especially when I go to the air-conditioned rooms in Jakarta, maybe you see some photos of mine in Jakarta wearing scarf. You must be asking yourself, why is she wearing scarf in a tropical country? It's not because Yes, it is in tropical country, but you know everywhere here is air conditioned, except my house because it's Balinese, so it's very open. But my bedrooms are all air conditioned when you just, uh, uh, you know, um, opt for that because it has air conditioned in every bedroom. But in this living room and uh, dining room, there's no uh, air condition because it's open. It's a Balinese style house or villa. And therefore, you would see me wearing scarf because when you go into the car, it's air conditioned. When you go to the mall, to the office, to the um, uh, people's house who can afford to pay electricity continuously, <laughs> then the air condition is on continuously. Uh, or in stores, every, everything is air conditioned. So it's nice, actually. But you know, in, I can't put on air condition in my big living room here. So anyway, so that's my story of um, Primavera, okay? Uh, spring, the second day today is the, yeah, it starts officially on the 21st of February. So um, yes, I hope you love your springtime wherever you are. I live in tropical country. We only have two seasons, dry and monsoon. But I make it a structure again because I'm very obsessed with structure and that is to make it in such a way that every three months, regardless of me living in the tropical country, 
there is a purpose of me to dress up. Why I dress up the way I dress up, or why I style myself the way I style myself? Because I use all based on the seasons, regardless of here being tropical, which has two seasons only. That way, it gives me a sense of purpose, and not only that, but it also um, rotates the clothes that I wear. First of all, admittedly, I don't do shopping here. I don't need to buy new clothes because I don't go out, I don't socialize, so I don't have active social life. So I rotate my clothes, all the old clothes that I still have, I wear them, but every three months I change, every three months I change, every three months I change according to the seasons, like in Italy. But then, you know, you don't get bored with the clothes that I put on because then I change the way I make up, change the way I put, do my hairdo, change the way I put my jewelry, change the, wear, the shoes I wear, the uh, bag I wear, you know, the scarf, the way I tie. It all has its language. So um, that's what I'm doing. And if you really want to learn about it, because maybe you see, oh my God, but you know, she's wearing old clothes. It doesn't matter because there is a style in it that you are not able to read. And if you like to go in depth, of course, you know, you can sign up on my online course. So uh, that's my vlog today, Friday. I hope you are enjoying yourself on this coming weekend. Oh, and I am perspiring, really, honestly. I could switch on the air condition in my bedroom, but it's boring to be in the bedroom, you know, all the time. So I just like to change venue in my own <laughs> home just to give a different side or backdrop. Okay, you have a great weekend. So I'll talk to you on Sunday. Ciao, ciao.